Hi, Sian. Welcome on Europedia. Uh, thank you, sir. Sian, uh, you are automobile engineer and presently you are doing your master's that is M.Tech from very prestigious IIT Kanpur yes. and that in uh, sustainable engineering department, which was started in 2021. Yes, sir. So, uh, Sian, uh, I have many things to discuss with you, many questions to ask you yes, uh, because of your, uh, uh, you know, background. Yeah, it's yes, automobile sir. engineering and then sustainable engineering. Yes, uh, my first question will be uh, related to your background. Very briefly, you tell us which part of India you are from and from where you've done your graduation and uh, what was your CGPA in graduation and with what paper you wrote GATE and what was the GATE score, that basics. Yes, sir. Sir, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Shayan Devesh. I completed my graduation from West Bengal University of Technology. I am from Howrah, West Bengal. Uh, my BTEC is in Automotive Engineering with then some additional honors in Applied Mathematics, where my GCGP is 9.1. Since we don't have GATE in our department, so I opted out GATE in Engineering Sciences paper with a combination of thermodynamics as well as fluid mechanics. My rank is 496 as well as my GATE score is 584. In this credential, I got many calls, direct PhD calls, uh, MS calls, as well as MTech calls. Uh, successfully, I converted so many of them, but I opted out MTech in IT Kanpur, Sustainable Energy Engineering Department, since this is interdisciplinary domain and we can enhance our interdisciplinary skills, as well as this department is mostly focuses on renewable energy. So I have specific interest in batteries, electric vehicles, so I opted out this department. And my clear goal is uh, after completing my master's from IIT Kanpur, uh, to join a very prestigious uni, uni it's a mostly in US universities for my PhD. Okay. So, Sayan, uh, thanks a lot. Very briefly, I'll summarize the things. Yes, but uh, now I have a couple of questions to ask you. Yes. And uh, my first question is like, uh, uh, you know, your CGP is 9.1 in BTEC. That yes, uh, shows that uh, you must have done very nicely in academics. Yes, uh, and you said you are interested in PhD also. You have yes, interested sir. in uh, research also. So uh, why you want to do PhD? I mean, is it like you want to get specialized in R&D things and then you want to get job in R&D? But what is your objective even sir, after PhD? Yeah, yeah, sir. My ultimate objective is joining to academia, any prestigious university in India. Okay. So I wanted to initially I write uh, in 2022, July, when I was passed out from my BK. At that point of time, I have job in my hand. But I did not job, join that because I wanted to pursue my direct PhD. So right. that uh, so I write gate and got direct I successfully converted some direct PhD calls from IIT Delhi as well as IIT Kanpur itself. But later I decided so let's aim for the big. Let's do my masters from one of the best institute of country and done my PhD from one of the world, world global ranking university from US. Right, mm -hmm. uh, would have turned out to be a great thing. I think after coming masters I in IIT Kanpur I found that many of the our students are doing their PhD from Cornell University, Michigan University, Stanford, MIT. There are n number of opportunities is there, and battery is not a simple thing. Where here we are working on manufacturing of batteries, um, materials about the batteries, uh, energy storage part of the battery, thermal management of the batteries. After coming here and uh, reading some of the things and talking with of such a great minds of professors, we can mm -hmm. come across that okay, we can have sky is the limit. We can do anything. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. After. But um, the same, one more thing, you uh, West Bengal Institute of Technology. You have graduated from nine C G P A. Mm -hmm. And it was in your mind that I will go to top global institutes. At that time, mm -hmm. India and abroad were both in your mind. Yes. Now, once you joined IIT Kanpur, then uh, uh, obviously IITs have different kind of uh, energy, you know, mm -hmm. and they give a lot of confidence and mm -hmm. imaginations get fired. Yes, so I would like to ask you, once you joined IIT Kanpur, and now you are already, you know, into this and getting this 8 plus CGPA. Mm -hmm. uh, so are you confident that you can get top global institutes now? Uh, Yes, sir, definitely, sir. Initially, uh, our mind is not that confident because we don't have that uh, alumni base that what should we do afterwards that? Mm -hmm. Like after coming IIT, we have so many alumni base. They are in R&Ds, they are in uh, top academias. Afterwards, initially we thought, okay, CGP is very important getting to those top class universities like Cornell University. After coming here, I know the people having seven CGP ended up getting Cornell, Oxford, because sometimes research matters most. And sometimes mm -hmm. some of the university CGPA matters, some of the university GRE score matters. Everything has their own weightage. It, mm -hmm. can, uh, after coming IIT Kanpur, you should know that, okay, because you are talking with us, those scientists, they are world class. Even my supervisor it's, itself he is a mm -hmm. uh, PhD from CMU. He done his uh, postdoc from Oxford University. He has five years experience in R&D. Afterwards, talking with him, I have immense com com confidence in my life that I can do the whatever I wanted to do initially. I was motivated to doing my PhD from India itself, but later I, I think, okay, let's aim for the big, go for the best university of the world, which is uh, doing their research, battery research at its peak. 
like Michigan mm. University, George okay. State. Wonderful. So, Sam, now, now I will request you to uh, tell the students who are listening to you about the research areas which you want to explore further and what are the really good research areas in sustainable engineering. And I will also request you to tell us about this department because, you know, it was a recently started department yes. 2021. And when we counsel students, mentor students that, okay, you join this department, they say, uh, that's a, this is a new and I'm apprehensive, it's a new department. And I tell them that if it is a new department, that simply means there is a need. IT Kanpur must have seen the need of this department. There's a reason they started this course. But then this is a new department. So I'll request you to tell about the department and what research domains uh, you are going through in that department. Yeah, uh, it, yeah, yeah yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, it is a new department in IIT Kanpur, but not in India. Because we have IIT Delhi in a similar kind of department called Energy Studies, which is an interdisciplinary domain. And uh, as well as IIT uh, Bombay has also have ESE department, Energy Science and Engineering department, Kharagpur also have, even Rohati also have. We started department, our, our ultimate goal is to bring our research in renewable fields. Mostly our department focuses in the, the work in the field of batteries. Earlier I mentioned about the batteries since it is my core domain. Apart from that, solar PV, solar thermal, wind energy, uh, so uh, electrical engineering, equipment, materials, etc. etc. Our ultimate objective to glorify our in the renewable sources, materials, etc. to in this field of research actually. The replacements of our department is really good. 2021, we started our first time, the first placement dive happening in 2023. Majority of students are getting placed from our department. They are right now in working on core domain last year, sorry, this year, 2022 batch sit for the placement. This year, uh, some PSUs also came for recruitment. And apart from that, uh, higher studies, this is the, one of the best thing I, I must say, because it is an interdisciplinary domain. In US, you go that there is nothing called computer science, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, you can pursue anything. Does it, it depend, does not depend on your background. You know, I need to willing to learn. Since I am from automotive background, I'm learning my uh, master's in sustainable engineering field battery. I also wanted to pursue my PhD abroad since the field of batteries itself. Because mm. this is the more domain, uh, the visa, our ultimate objective is application based research. No, uh, lab me kaam ho gaya, wo kaam lab me theory ban gaya, kare gaya, which is not the ultimate objective. Uska market me kuch outcome mana chahiye. Isi liye hamare department pretends ki tarab bhi zada dhan de rahi hai. Or renewable sources of energy. We got some handsome funding this year. As well. Okay, wonderful. Ajahn, ab mere ko ye bataiye. You told me that uh, on the basis of your grade score, that is 584, you mm -hmm. got multiple opportunities in mm -hmm. India also. Yes. Uh, and um, some of the university uh, opportunities you converted after interview and all. Yes. I'll first request you to tell us which which opportunities did you convert. And uh, as far as the IT Kanpur sustainable energy was concerned, what was the process to convert it? I mean, was there interview or a written exam or SOP they asked? And uh, at what uh, co-op round did you get it? Yeah, so uh, first of all, I'd uh, like to discuss about my direct PhD calls. Mm -hmm. I received calls from IIT Madras, mechanical department, aerospace department. And I received call from IIT Delhi Energy Science Department, IIT Kanpur Sustainable Energy Engineering Department. I only apply even I applied all the departments the I got called from them because I'm my ultimate objective to join either IT Madras or IT Kanpur because these two universities the only university in India mostly focus on interdisciplinary kind of research since my background is very diverse so I wanted to join either Madras or Kanpur so later I gave interview I successfully converted uh, some of the interviews of IT Delhi and IT Kanpur itself and apart from my MS interviews I got called from IT Indore. And uh, uh, IT Guwahati uh, and my MTech co, co brown in uh, I got uh, IT Kanpur Sustainable Energy Engineering, ISM Dhanwal Mechanical, uh, IT Gandhinagar Mechanical, IT Mandi, IT Roper. Almost all the second uh, second generation IT those allowing uh, automobile guys for in for the mechanical engineering and some of the top IITs uh, interdisciplinary domains. So like, like that, I, I got this call in uh, IT Kanpur Sustainable Engineering call in third round. And okay. this year, there is no interview. In my case, it is directly through Gates Code. Earlier, 2021, when this department getting started, there is was interview, a written test was there. But right now, mm -hmm. there is no interview or inter uh, uh, interview or anything is there. For example, direct PhD, there is interview as well. And they want mm -hmm. SOP and the interview, I opted out and I successfully got the interview call from and able to convert the interview as well. So I got direct PhD. My interview lasts for one hour. And the mm -hmm. SOP play a very key role. And during the interaction, I was telling to you that SOP and SOR, I think, is the main key thing for Indian students getting into IITs as well. 
not only abroad. Hmm. So, uh, intro uh, also is very important process throughout, right? Post grade yes. activities. I hmm. will say your uh, scores does not matter that much. If you you got getting a call from any IIT, then your score does not matter. There it matters that your SOP and their your interview. You should hmm. write something that you know in your SOP. Like this hmm. is a hot topic. Okay, I put in my SOP. But you should have some some basic idea about that SOP. Hmm. Otherwise, you are going to get to fumble in the in, in interview. That's happened in my IIT Madras interview. And sometimes the luck is very important. Since my background is automotive engineering, during my IT Madras interview, the panel is there. They are mostly in fluid mechanics, aerodynamics. So they are drag my interview to that direction because I was not prepared that much. I put my SOP in the field of internal combustion engine. So sometimes luck is most matter, but you should come up with something in your SOP. Your SOP mm -hmm. should be clear, crisp. At the same time, it's fruitful. Some mm -hmm. people okay, he knows something about this topic. Mm -hmm. SOP is very important, hai. Intro yes. bahut important hai if yes. you want to convert it, right? Yes. And largely MS or PhD, direct PhD, mein hota hi hai. Yes. but in uh, some M-Tech, mein bhi hota hai. Jaise, yes. uh, if you talk about IIC Bangalore, interdisciplinary yes. departments yes. like yours, interdisciplinary yes. departments mein bhi m -tech hota hai. Uh, yeah, IIC, yeah, sorry, yeah. interdisciplinary departments, there is an interview. Yeah, this year from 2020-2024, uh, I think they are going to start m in sustainable technologies through get mechanical, civil people that can allow in IIC Bangalore. Circular hmm. is already out. Hmm. So, so uh, Sayan, I would like to ask you, you know, uh, are you aware that, you know, students think that gate score is only criteria, the rest things are not important. <laughs> uh, this is the, because immediately the gate hota hai na, Sayan, kya hota hai, jab gate ka result aata hai, so we get so many calls and then students say, ki, sir, mera gate score to kam hai, mera to kuch nahi banega. Uh -huh. I tell them that uh, for direct PhD or uh, MS, even if let less gate scores is there, but your CGP is good, then what matters is, as you said, once you get a call, to wo kinare rakh dete aapke gate score. Uh -huh. to sare ka sara wo hai. Uh -huh. Ek bar call aagya, to I think gate score that does not matter. What it matters mm -hmm. is your SOP or SOR or any your interview. You should something have your SOP. Like mere saath jo jo ne counseling mein the, to bahut mujhse bhi kam gate score walo ka hua hai. IIT Bombay mein bhi hua hai, IIT Delhi mein bhi hua hai, Kanpur mein bhi hua hai. They come here and done their, their really well. Or kya hota hai ki students ko aware nahi hota like I, I am from mechanical background. Can I justice with this material science MT? Uh, can I justice with this uh, aeronautical engineering MT? But you can do. But mm -hmm. kya hota hai ki that you should at least uh, come up with some knowledge. Like if you like thermodynamics field, thermal field, then you should prepare thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, heat transfer, this three subject very according to because these are classical subject. Your interviews are only going to based on this. If you mm -hmm. Uh, planning to in manufacturing, then you should come up with casting, welding, the traditional manufacturing kind of courses really well. Mm -hmm. Should prepare like that. It's an hour like Jack of all master of none. Good subject. Please go ahead. Good uh, subject. Me, your knowledge excellent. Hona chahiye, lekin, uh, lekin direct PhD ka interview. Suppose I have MS or direct PhD. Dono ka interview diya hai. Like, mujhe laga ki direct PhD ki interview mein wo bahut deeper jaate hain. Ab case mein mein humne kya even sometimes wo puchte bhi hain. Abne is related koi journal bagera padhegi specifically wo direct PhD students ke liye. Hmm. I don't know about the hmm. jo those people are coming after masters uh, in PhD. Uh, I don't uh, know hmm. about them, but it is uh, very important for direct PhD student. You should come hmm. up with two subject at, uh, additionally mathematics as well. Hmm. Hmm. Mathematics you know last year, uh, last year uh, same first time your video opened the counseling parallel counseling hmm. for uh, abroad also, the uh, post-grade yes. counseling tha, abroad ke liye bhi open kiya, especially for those students who India abroad dono ko apply karna chate the. In that there was one girl, uh, she was from biotechnology, B.Tech in biotechnology, mm -hmm. and she was interested in direct PhD, India or abroad. And we applied both places, and she mm -hmm. got uh, in India also, uh, as you got in India also, uh, and she got abroad US also, Texas Tech University, I think she got and. Uh, $4,000 per month was the scholarship. That means $37,000 was yes. coming for uh, nine months. Yes. So that was the scale of uh, th this thing. And what is your opinion that if a student gets opportunity for direct PhD after be taken in India also and US also with good scholarship, though where he should go and what is the reason for that? Um, see, uh, I will say it depends on his personal interest. Uh, if it's, it's personal interest and depends on QS ranking. Before coming here, when I was interested in PhD, I was always looking for QS ranking. Oh, MIT is number one, Stanford is number two. But after coming IIT Kanpur, I talked with some of the best supervisor, some of the best scientists of this world. I come to this US ranking does not matter. What matters is your PI is ultimate. In your research area is PI ultimate. Because mm -hmm. after uh, talking with your PI, 
you mm -hmm. understand that what is the research is all about. Why where should you your research should be directed? Because your PI is going to be ultimate is going to direct your uh, provide you direction about your research work. So if mm -hmm. he, he got both the chances, I think he should explore that. He should talk with the alumni base of their that lab, more specifically mm -hmm. that laboratory he want or she wanted to join. Mm -hmm. which, which I'm going to do for my PhD. Mm, good. So now, now, uh, Sam, uh, you uh, you got the opportunity in this particular course that is MTech course. I would like to ask you: there is a course called MTech Research or MS also, right? Yes, in that, call comes at very less gate score also, and then it's a research uh, program. I would like to take your opinion about MS program also because there is a misunderstanding among students that MS course is not as good as MTech, and uh, it takes a lot of time, and uh, we will not join it. I tell them that if you're getting MS and in, in case if you are interested of PhD abroad, MS is a very good course. I want mm -hmm. to take your opinion on that. Uh, that's your com completely right, sir. MS is a really good co course. Since if you wanted to do PhD, then I will mm -hmm. uh, in abroad. I think you should go for MS over MT. Okay. Because you have to do less coursework. You can uh, mm -hmm. often out. Uh, you can have handsome time in your for your research. You can end up getting good number of publication. You can mm -hmm. make your good connections. In the, in the meantime, many of the MS what happened, they got six mm -hmm. months or one year extra for their mm -hmm. research work. Mostly mm -hmm. done in three years. In that mm -hmm. point of time, you can explore more in US about US universities, German universities, Singapore universities, whatever you should do. Mm -hmm. Okay. That would, have, that would have been a great help for you. And in this time of, since you have to do less coursework, like in MTech, IT Kanpur, we have to do eight coursework as well mm -hmm. as two mandatory seminars. But mm -hmm. this MS guys have to, uh, go five or six coursework along with one lab so they are uh, hectic uh, their their schedule is not that hectic and they mm -hmm. ended up getting good cgpa I mean, all the ms guys has better cgpa than mtech guys since mm -hmm. they have, have to I mean, have to do less coursework they can okay. focus on their or research work they can identify mm -hmm. their own problems since our department is very open to all so they can mm -hmm. identify their own sometimes professor can, mm -hmm. like my professor mm -hmm. told me that please come up with your own problem which is a mm -hmm. great thing i think i must found mm -hmm. it's true Mm -hmm. So, so Sam, you have some advice to give to students who are, who may get very less gate score because that number is very huge. Yeah. The number of students getting high score compared to that number getting low score is very big number. Yeah, right. Moreover, not even getting gate is even 85%. So, yes. do you have any message to those students who have get less gate score, though they qualified and they want to become part of uh, IIT system, their CGP may be good. Yeah, so if uh, your CGP is good and you are interested in any particular subject, then you should start exploring about MS or direct PhD kind of thing. If he, he is not interested in PhD, I think he should apply for MS. Because mm -hmm. I, after coming here, I understood that biotechnology people, even not all the IITs, biotechnology people can also pursue their MS in electronics field, since mm -hmm. they are also can work on instrumentation kind of research. So this is the thing about the knowledge. Since my department is very interdisciplinary, many of the people don't, well, okay, I am in graduate in chemical engineering, I want to stay in chemical, but places are very small. But you can, if you uh, wanted to join these universities, then chemical guys are also can able to apply in aerospace engineering in IIT Kanpur, mostly in propulsion. Mm -hmm. But this is a great opportunity for them. One thing that you should start exploring by yourself, or that you should, if not able to pursue that thing, you should take a help of your PDA platform. Mm -hmm. I think this mm -hmm. is a, would have been a great thing for us because you can end up getting in the, probably uh, one of my seniors, I forgot his name. He is a direct PhD student in IIT Delhi, might be in applied mechanics department, and his score is uh, he's a general category student 328. 328 is something like that, but I forgot his name and financially extremely. But his gate score is really less after taking one year gap. Uh, but still he able to make IIT Delhi just because he has some interest in solid mechanics. So if you have one particular subject interest, just go for mm -hmm. MS program. The MS mm -hmm. is for you, I think. Mm. Okay, Sam, I also want to take your opinion on a PhD program because people misunderstand this uh, course. Mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about PhD from abroad, then many of my students who are doing PhD abroad, they told me that, sir, uh, there is 90% probability you will end up in industrial jobs. Yes, sir. After PhD, you will end up in industrial jobs in R&D and uh, you see any CEO of a company, he's a PhD actually mm -hmm. in actually, uh, yes. top uh, you know companies uh, abroad. But in India, there's a perception that if you do PhD, that means 90% you will be doing teaching job. So what do you say about this particular point? Sir, uh, I think teaching is a very, uh, see, PhD is, very inter uh, is a very mature kind of thing. Because in the thing, you are going to work on your own problem. The problem you are working on, 
it must be should your own problem so you do, uh, earlier i mentioned you should not go with the lab if you should not with the university qs ranking you should go with the lab but uh, in my department is in the discipline department the, all the faculties we have they have five year six year uh, industrial experience r and experience after their phd that's too far abroad uh, some of them are working in intel some of them are automotive glass engineers in one of the pittsburgh you know, pittsburgh so what happened you have any number of opportunity but you should explore that thing gre toffel uh, you should explore everything what you can do and after yeah this is completely right after doing phd from us you can land a job in very good R&D jobs as well as teaching jobs. So my ultimate goal is getting into academic jobs, but uh, you can explore a number of things. You can have both of the things in hand. I personally feel that even after doing PhD from IIT Kanpur itself, teacher look at the IIT Kanpur look at the IIT Kanpur IIT Kanpur ka ye kahi na kahi issue hai. I see some of the guys after spending seven years in IIT Kanpur in PhD, they ended up getting job in GE, Airbus, top companies are in this. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. This is a, probably one of the best thing can a mechanical and automotive or aeronautical engineering can have in your, their life. So what the, matters is like how how you invest your time in uh, these yeah, courses. Yeah, mm -hmm. your the problem is that you are working on that must be your own problem, or and you should you have come up with something good in your PhD. But you in the PhD, and one of my teacher is always tell us that in the PhD, me tum ye nahi sikte ki tum how to conduct research. You research not how to conduct research. Conducting research is very important. But it's a very important thing in my life. I, I learned from them, those guys. You know, uh, Sen, now I'm interacting with students of different campuses. We keep on visiting different campuses. Other than IIT and IIT, we go to Central University, State University, and we visit the campuses and talk to students. Uh, this year, placement scenario is little low on the yes. sluggish side. So many students, uh, uh, they don't have job opportunities. Unlike you, you guys were having job opportunities. They were not, they are not having this year. But they have gate scores and all. And uh, they one of the options they have is a uh, higher education also. Mm -hmm. So what is your advice to such students who do not have job as of now, though they have opportunity for higher education and maybe recession may end up in a year or two. So what is your option to such students? If they have good CGPA and let get a low get score, they should explore things. Even they have high GPA and vice versa, good get score. I think higher education option always give you gives you a boost because many of the companies come for P get uh, kind of uh, because they only want post graduate students. I think they should uh, explore that. Uh, mm -hmm. Kuch nahi kuch hona had mein bahut achhi baat. Acha, abhi economy maine socha hai, suna hai ki thoda change bhi ho raha hai economy ke. जो कंपनीज हैं वो स्पेशलाइज्ड लोगों को चूज कर रही हैं मतलब ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स को रिक्रूट कर रही हैं जिनके पास कुछ स्पेशलाइज्ड नॉलेज है जैसे आपने बताया मास्टर्स वगैरह हां हां आई लाइक टू कम ऑन दिस पॉइंट बट लास्ट ईयर वन ऑफ माय सीनियर्स हु इज वर्किंग ऑन बैटरीज ही इज अ 10 जीपीए होल्डर फ्रॉम आईटी कानपुर ही लैंडेड इन कैपजी मिनी सॉरी सॉरी कैटरपिलर सॉरी कैटरपिलर कैटरपिलर इन द कोर बैटरी इंजीनियर मॉड्यूल इन रोल so he only got selected in that field because of his project. Mm -hmm. And people are selecting in PSUs like Siki, the Solar India Corporation, the PSUs like that, because of their project work. You should okay. come up with good project work, actually. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. it's going to help you in your placement. Even last year, I was talking to my senior, they were saying that you asked your name in the interview, 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 Mm -hmm. Project your project mm -hmm. is a key role in your any masters, whether it is masters mm -hmm. or PhD. Mm -hmm. I see people mm -hmm. after doing their PhD from IIT Kanpur ended up getting good core engineer job, structure engineering job in Airbus, which is a dream job for any structure engineer. Mm -hmm. so, Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you can do things, but you should justice with your work. You mm -hmm. should come up with something actually. Mm -hmm. End of the day, initially we thought that paper matter most. Until unless you have good papers, you cannot land in Purdue University, Stanford University. I come up here after watch this without paper. I see people, uh, people are uh, landing in Purdue University, like mm -hmm. Texas universities, mm -hmm. because they justice with their mm -hmm. research work. Then they go care about that. I get the opportunity to mentor thousands of students every year as a teacher. So I have realized that uh, the person who gets opportunity mm -hmm. is the person who thinks he will get it and applies. Yes, sir. That is the mantra actually. Yes, sir. If you uh, put the uh, self imposed restriction, no, that okay, I am from a pretty ordinary college and uh, my CGP is not good, my GRE score is not good, I may not get it. That are assumptions. If you think that you will get it, and you will start to apply it, then it will happen. 
I, I was giving you example of a girl who is biotechnology yeah. and she thought, no, I'll apply PhD abroad. She started mailing and she started getting the professors and one day she started getting the opportunities also. So the message to the students is like, don't assume negative things like Aapka nahi hoga ya, you cannot land up in IIT Kanpur or best university. Mein aap nahi ja sakte. Assumption mat lagao, apply karo. Apply karo or mehnat karo. Haan, sahi hona chahiye. As you told students that uh, friends, there is going to be interview, there is going to be, you know, SOP writing, you need to apply. And the moment you are there, you are going to learn something good. And as you were having job in your pocket, but you prefer to, you know, go for this thing. Mm -hmm. So I think if the strategy they take for positive, then things will be pretty good for them. Yes. Now, Sen, uh, I will ask you, uh, you know, uh, this uh, next question that is related to IIT Kanpur itself. You have come from West Bengal Institute of Technology now in IIT Kanpur. So please share your some uh, experience, brief experience about this institute. What kind of institute is IIT Kanpur? So IIT Kanpur don't need any introduction or anything else because this is one of the best institutes in the country. So yes. when I was in IIT Kanpur first time, so I interact with the, I don't want to get into the curriculum part. Mm -hmm. uh, see, you know, IIT Kanpur curriculum part is very heavy. But about the teachers, the teachers are, they are not very ordinary guys. They have um, done their PhDs from world-class university. They done, they have some good, good handsome number of R&D experience. But best part is the interaction. If you have chance to get interaction with the uh, professors, they have such a knowledge about every field. Since I was come here and I was initially, from first day I was very motivated. Oh, I have to do my PhD abroad. And I, so I went and talked with every guy who is working on batteries in our field, in our mm -hmm. department. Every mm -hmm. time I come up with something new. Okay, in Sepushlia, to me, thermal management, Kavar may both push Patashala. In Sepushlia, to me, battery materials, Kavar may push Patashala. To me, throw about Panna Statka, to me, Patashala, okay, these are the hot topics in batteries. Let's come up with these things. IT can't put me, you can talk with people and you can gather your knowledge because your PR is also very strong. That I am right now in Boston and people are from various backgrounds. We should talk about that. Okay, he's a chemical background field. I am from automotive field. Let's, we are started talking about batteries. So he come up with his own point. I come up with my own point. So PRs are very important. So the environment you can give IIT, it can be two or three years in IIT. Those are mm -hmm. been their BTECs in IITs. They can it's help to shape your career. And after mm -hmm. that, we meet so much alumni. Those are right now is a big name in US faculties. Like our department has a good collaboration with foreign universities, the renewable branches. Mm -hmm. like Latro Bay and, and some of the universities I forgot them, the Rise University recently. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have some alumni base there. So mm -hmm. we talk about they are, they are with the their career is after coming IIT Kanpur, we understand okay, we can do these things as well. Okay, this can't mm -hmm. be a research problem. It's a real time mm -hmm. problem. And mm -hmm. if he research problem is not able to solve, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's a great journey in IIT Kanpur. And academics mm -hmm. part about coming to academics part. Uh, it's very. It, I talk with my friends. Those are in similar kind of branch in Kharagpur, Guwahati, uh, Bombay, even in Delhi as well. But IIT Kanpur academics part is really heavy because we our part is interdisciplinary. That this year we have some some of the subjects we are actually it's an amalgamation of some semiconductor physics, material science, conductivity, surface level engineering, and they club everything and come up with one subject. So when you're going through this kind of courses your coursework is going to be very heavy because you have to, uh, in number of books you have to follow, in number of teachers are going to teach you entire things. Mm -hmm. They are mm -hmm. very expert about the, the sometimes knowledge barrier is there. Mm -hmm. So come up with results is very difficult. Suppose you are ended up getting a uh, uh, in policy type of things, then your mm -hmm. subject is other things. Then you have to come up with good communication skills. Mm -hmm. If you are in mm -hmm. hardcore engineering mm -hmm. things like me, then you have to come up with some good, com uh, good kind of results in your uh, it's, it's depends on individual. How it's the biggest mm -hmm. advantage of these interdisciplinary domains are you you are individual. You can mm -hmm. do your supervisor and you matter most. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if someone is in your department, he is working on a chemical uh, field or electrical field, it doesn't matter what he is doing. Because since you are doing whatever is matter. Yes, your mm -hmm. field his field is completely different. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's that's wonderful, uh, Sayan. So uh, that brings us to an end of this uh, session, Sayan. And you have uh, very beautifully and uh, very, uh, you know, uh, meticulously explained everything about, uh, uh, you know, sustainable engineering department, MTEC you are doing from IIT Kanpur. And uh, some of the key points are like, uh, you know, you, you should pursue domain of your interest and uh, 
if you do really good project work opportunities are there and uh, it's are the wonderful institute uh, even to pursue career in india as well as abroad if you are exploring opportunities uh, do your project seriously that gives you opportunities these are some key points i'm very sure students will take it forward and uh, the opportunities you explored uh, students will listen to that also now any message you want to give to students here uh, one thing i always uh, like to tell everyone that don't think about the end results just if you have a good they are decent gate score, a low gate score even, but decent CGPA. Just trying to apply some of the departments. If, you, if that is not in your core department, then trying to apply in your some of the interdisciplinary domains and good IITs. And mm -hmm. in, in the other day, if you got the opportunity, if you don't think in your hand, just let's join that and start mm -hmm. exploring things. When I yes. found the people, those are in solid mechanics, they are working on biomechanics kind of problem, mm -hmm. which is the interdisciplinary biotechnology and mm -hmm. solid mechanics thing. You can also work on those problems as well. Yeah. Right now we are in a transit mode in getting into interdisciplinary. We are in the US, German, this uh, this university is already in interdisciplinary domain. So we are trying to transit in the, these things. I think you should explore things. Should and mm -hmm. one thing that is very important, go with the prof, uh, professor profile. Mm -hmm. Professor mm -hmm. profile visiting is give you immense confidence because you know, okay, this professor is earlier field because I we have here so, such a professors, they done their bachelor's in material science, but they are ended up getting their PhD in electronics engineering. So mm -hmm. these things are also happen because mm -hmm. in India probably oh yeah, yes, 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 but this can be possible. Mm -hmm. It's true. So everything is feasible, everything is possible. possible. Just keep uh, you know, exploring the option. That is a message. So thanks a lot, Sam, for your time you gave me today. Yes. And uh, I look forward uh, for your support in mentoring the students. If okay. students get opportunity to you know go for interview or something in sustainable engineering and they feel like talking to you, we'll connect you to them. Right, Sam? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you sir.